Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you. Welcome to another episode of the Dean Show. And today, bringing you another great topic up for discussion. We're bringing in our good friend who's been with us this week on the Dean Show, former Christian minister, preacher, Sheikh Yusuf Estes. Sit right there, don't move, and we'll be right back on the Dean Show. Of Christ, Allah is enough for me. Welcome back to the Dean Show. I'm your host Eddie, and in the Dean Show studio, our special guest. I thank you again for being with us, Sheikh Yusuf Estes. Alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum what kind of topic do we have today? Can God be a man, Sheikh? We're gonna, Say what? Can God be a man? We have to get right down to it. All right. And we got to explain to the to the audience because people are taking rocks as God, sticks as God, uh, money as God, and they're taking a man as God. Is this possible? <laughs> First of all, let's talk about something in general. Let us agree before we start even having a discussion what is rational and what's irrational. I agree. All right. And when I point this way and I say, okay, this is up, and you say, yes, okay, that's up. And when I point like this, I say, this is down, you say, okay, this is down. Now, during the discussion, if you said, well, this could also be down, or this could also be up, I'm going to say, okay, that's the end of the rational discussion. Right, yeah, have a nice day. <laughs> i got things to do. Up is up, down is down. Yeah, well, there's some basic things when you talk about something in a rational discussion that go undisputed. You just say, that's here. it. Uh, yeah, you set parameters. Before we begin the discussion, when you say God, what are you talking about? Okay? And if you're talking about something that's limited, something that is uh, human, something that's... Uh, then for me, this is not God. This is simple as that. Because if you want to talk about God, and you're talking about the one who is the creator God, that set everything into motion in the beginning, the one who is the sustainer, the creator, the one who is... Uh, all knowledgeable. We're going to talk about the epitome of the qualities or attributes of this God. That He is not, He doesn't just know, He's all knowing. He doesn't just hear, He's all hearing. And He doesn't just have knowledge, He is all knowledge. So if you understand it from that perspective, then when you begin your logical discussion, your rational uh, communication on the subject, you're going to be able to say, all right, this would work and this wouldn't work. But if you don't set the parameters in the beginning, then the discussion goes crazy. You can say anything you want to. You can say you're God. Well, go, <laughs> go ahead and say that, but what, it doesn't make it happen. It's like playing a ball game with no rules now. No foul, f uh, foul lines or nothing. we got to make sure we stay in the perimeters, like you said. I remember, I'm from Texas. Yeah. I remember years ago someone said to me, would you like to learn how to play a new kind of poker? I said, poker? This is a card game. They said, yeah, yeah. They said, we got a new kind, it's called As You Go Poker. I said, As You Go? They said, yeah, I make the rules as you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> so we made the rules now. If you say up, up, down, down. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, when we're talking about God, if you're saying God, meaning the one who created everything, quite obviously he's not the creation and doesn't need to go in his creation. It doesn't make any sense. Even a human, and we're not comparing God to a human, but if a human makes a computer, and he has a problem with it. He doesn't crawl into the software and try to work in for that. It doesn't work like that. That's nuts. No. And how about the Lord of the universe? When you realize that, that we as human beings are tiny compared even to a tree, or how about a tree compared to a mountain, or a mountain compared to the earth, or the earth compared to the sun, or the sun compared to the, the solar system, or the solar system we're in compared to other solar systems which are much bigger. There are suns which are many times bigger than our sun. And then within that you've got your galaxies. And these galaxies are huge. And within that all gets bigger and bigger. Now you're talking about the Milky Way. Now they tell us even the Milky Way doesn't cover everything. And it goes beyond and beyond. And you're talking about the one who created all of this. And how in the world are you going to compare this God to something tiny and miscule here on the planet. That's an insult. Doesn't That's make disgusting. Sense. Now, and once we've established that, now let's talk about in particular a man. If somebody said God could be a man, then the logical 
statement following that should be, then why can't he also be a woman? I've thought about that. Why not? And if they said God is a man, then where did he come from? What color was he? That's a good point. What language did he speak? That's another good point. And how tall is he? You see, you have to start defining God. No, yeah. And, and immediately you'll have somebody who'll go irrational on you here and they'll say, well, well, yeah, but he's God, he can do anything. Well, this is another problem. Does God do anything? Is God without limits? Can, if you said, well, God has no limits. Okay. From a human standpoint, that will not make sense. And an atheist can shoot you down immediately, very easy. It can simply ask you, does God have any limits? And you say, no. Can God do anything? Well, he's setting you up. And you're saying, that's right. Is there anything God cannot do? He's got three questions to get you to the... Only three questions. And you're up against the wall and you don't even see it coming. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Is God without limits? You bet. Can God do anything? You bet. Is there anything God cannot do? Can God do anything? Yes. Absolutely. Emphatically. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can he die? Oh. You know, for some, they will say yes, because they'll say their God died on the cross, or their God died for me, or something like this. But to someone who's really thinking about it, he's going to go, uh, no, the real God can die. Is that true? Uh, can God die? How about this? Leave that one alone. Can he cheat? Can God lie? Can God trick you? Because if you say yes to that one, then how do you know you're on the right way? How do you know? If God can trick you, maybe the whole thing's a big trick. Huh? Sounds so, like that poker game the guy was trying to make. Up. As you go. As, you, as go. you go. Just go along and change everything and play with people's brain. But in reality, the only way that a human being could come to know, or let's forget the human being, anything within the creation could never understand the creator. This is impossible. Because that which is subjected to something bigger is not going to be able to control that or manage it because this is uh, this doesn't make sense he being a former christian minister mm. you actually used to believe that god was a man i would have probably done the irrational thing with you and said well yes and no <laughs> because when you answer a question with yes and no you canceled out both sides of it already and you're going to give an irrational answer that's why you say that well yes and no yes this but no that Okay? Mm -hmm. Could God be a man? Well, it will, da, 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 da. not God, God, but uh, a form of the God, a part of the God, but not the whole God. You kind of get in a sticky web over here. Well, yeah, because if you say God's a man, okay, he's walking around the earth, yeah. Who's running the rest of the universe? Huh? Well, he had it on automatic pilot. You go, automatic pilot? <laughs> they had automatic pilot said, well, you know, God has whatever he wants to have. You know, he can put it on autopilot. <laughs> Where do you get this stuff from? Well, you, you can say that uh, a form of God, a, a spirit of the God. Well, how many spirits has he got? We don't know. He could have a bunch of spirits. Okay, so how are you going to argue with that? But uh, the contention now of the Muslim is this, that the only way the human is going to know God is by revelation. God reveals himself through what we call scripture or revelation, and has done so since time immemorial. And we know this is evidenced by the many manuscripts that have been found and discovered around the planet. They don't all match because they're not originals. None of these are originals. Many of them are copies of copies of copies. Many of them are translations of copies and things like this. But it's enough and suffice to say that we know there were original manuscripts. We know there were original revelations. And we know based on so many of the, the continuity of so many of them that you can compare that yes, th there was revelation that came from God. Does it exist in the original format? We're going to say no as do most of the real scholars of the Bible, say no. In fact, the recently Bart Aaron, if you've perhaps heard of him, one yes. of the biblical scholars, has some books out on Borders Books and Music at Barnes & Noble, Amazon.com. By the way, do you